Shalom. First and foremost, as always, before I get started, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, and next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of the great millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless whether who will hear or whether they forbear. All right, and um, this lesson is going to be entitled, The World Can't Hear Us. Okay. The world can't hear us. And uh, this is inspired, you know, by just a thought that I had uh, about how, you know, when we go out there and preach and we prophesy, okay, on the streets, all right, we understand that the vast majority of the people are not going to take heed. All right, they're not going to hear us. And that's according to prophecy. The Most High has blinded the vast majority of people on the face of the earth. All right, he's he's uh, blinded two-thirds of the elect. Excuse me, excuse me, I said, the correct, I said that incorrectly. Two-thirds of the Israelites, and the only ones who are really going to get that understanding are the elect, all right? Everyone else is going to be blinded. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to, to do a quick, you know, lesson on that. Uh, and Lord's will is edifying to the elect. So let's go ahead and start off in the book of St. John, chapter 10 and verse 26, which I've got pulled up here. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse uh, 25. Yahweh Shai answered them and told... Yahweh shall answer them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. All right, so everyone doesn't, you know, everyone doesn't hear the voice of Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, that's why, you know, they're looking for, everybody's looking for something in the society. All right, everybody's looking for you know, some, some level of satisfaction, joy, whatever that brings them happiness, you know, in life, all right? But the elect, they're going to derive joy from following their shepherd, all right, which is Yahweh Shai. They're going to elect joy uh, from, from these scriptures, okay? And that's prophesied of Isaiah 29 and 19. Okay, it says, The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel because, all right, th this is the meek, all right, speaking of the elect, all right, and they, we hear the voice, Lord, I say we, you know, uh, and in hopes, okay, we're of the hopeful elect, no one knows who the elect is, is until that day comes, all right, the great testing, but, uh, you know, the elect is going to hear that voice and they're going to, they're going to take joy in the Holy One of Israel, all right, Yahweh the Heavenly Father and His representative that He set down, Yahweh Shai, all right. So my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay, it says, My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. All right, it's beautiful. All right, but the rest of the people, okay, they can't hear us, all right? Okay, their ears are not, matter of fact, let's get that preset real quick. All right, their ears are not circumcised to be able to hear, right, to be able to hear the words and get the understanding that the Lord has set up. This is Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is circumcised, hear, excuse me, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach, and they have no delight in it. All right, which is why they hate that the men of the Most High are out there, okay, prophesying on the streets, all right, because the word is a reproach unto them, all right, their ears are uncircumcised to where they can't hear, all right, it's just a bunch of foolishness to them, it tells you that in First Corinthians in first chapter 2, the preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that perish, this is Luke chapter 10 and verse 16, it says, he that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. All right, so they despise us, okay? And ultimately, it's because why they despise the one who sent us, which is Yahweh Shai, and they despise the one who sent him, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? And it's ultimately because they're not the children of the Most High. All right, everybody, that, everybody on the face of the earth is not a children, is not a child of God, all right? Most of the people on the earth are actually children of Satan, all right? And that's that shown by their works, okay? You are, you are a servant to whom you obey, all right, this is uh, St. John 8 and 47. 
It says, He that is of the Most High God heareth Yahweh's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of Yahweh. All right. And I believe here he's talking to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, okay, which in today's time they would be two thirds as well. Okay, they would be, you know, those who in that time they were they were uh, trusting in the law and they had no faith. All right, but in today's time you have people doing the same thing. All right, you got different Israelite groups that are that are pushing, you know, heavy and really think that they can be justified by the law. Okay, and not not in faith in Yahweh Shai. All right, so they going off. All right, but ultimately they can't hear that because they're not children of the Most High. At least not on this side. All right, you know, only the elect is is going to be loved as a, and and taken care of and delivered as a son of the Most High. Son or daughter on this side. All right, the rest are going to be destroyed. This is First John chapter four and verse five. It says, "It says they are of the world; therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of the Most High, for He knoweth, He that knoweth the Most High heareth us, and He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby you know we the Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of Error. That's how we know somebody's bugged out." Okay, they calling them the wrong names, or they can't understand prophecy. It's probably because either they're two third, or they may be an Edomite, all right, or even one of the other heathen nations. Because the only ones who are really going to get this truth are the elect, all right. It's been reserved for the elect from the beginning, all right. Let's go to the Book of Saint John, chapter fifteen. Get a few more scriptures and wrap it up. Just a little pre-lesson before I go to work, all right. Trying to make sure the, fo the uh, flock stays well fed. This is St. John chapter 15 and verse 18. All right, it says, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they have not known him that sent me. See, they don't know the Heavenly Father. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now, now they have no cloak for their sin. So we go out there and preach. We know they're not going to listen, but okay, they have to hear the word. All right, so they can be marked. They have to hear it, actively reject it, and actively hate the Father. All right, it says, He that hateth me hateth my Father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. Okay, so they hate us. They hate the one who sent us, Yahweh Shai, and they would hate the one who sent him, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, and this is, this is at that stage that's being set for, for great judgment, okay, because people, uh, people are rejecting the gospel, you know, in, in mass numbers at this point. All right, and that's okay. This is all part of, the, of Yahweh Shai and Shai's movie. All right, let's get this last scripture, and I'm going to wrap it up. Once again, just something quick before I head out to the plantation. Okay, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and verse, um, let's see, this whole chapter is fire. I'm going to start at verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything. Okay, all right, so like your video got... I had a quick interruption phone call. Okay, 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. Or 2 and 1, excuse me. All right. It says, And I, brethren, when I came unto you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the most high. All right. So he didn't choose. He said, I didn't, I didn't, the, the most high didn't choose men that were, uh, you know, the, the, the wisdom of, that had the wisdom of this world, the strength of this world. Okay. He chose the, the, the weak to confound the mighty. Okay. The foolish to confound the wise, as he said in the, in the uh, first Corinthians, the first chapter. All right. So he said, he, he did that so that your faith would not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. Okay, verse 6, it says, Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, 
even the hidden wisdom which the Most High hath ordained before the world unto our glory. Okay? It says, which none of the princes of this world knew, for they had known it, they, they would have not been crucified the Lord of glory. Okay, so this, this wisdom, all right, is spe speaking in the mystery, was ordained before the world unto the glory of the elect. Okay, which the people of this world, they didn't know. They didn't know. If they did, they wouldn't have crucified Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. But Yahweh hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of the Heavenly Father. For, for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man? Okay, the spirit is connected to your mind, which is in him. Even so, the things of the Most High, Yahweh, knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. So, you don't, you won't, you can't understand the, the mind of the Most High unless you have his spirit. Okay, it says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, Yahweh, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of him. Okay. So that's the reason why the world can't hear us, because in order to understand things that are spiritual, all right, you have to have the spirit. OK, and the people of the world just don't get it. Continuing on. Verse 13, it says, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay, so they can't get it, all right? The people of the world, it's a major stumbling block to them. They can't understand, and that's why they don't listen to us when we prophesy. So don't get discouraged about that. Just keep pushing regardless, either way, regardless of whether they hear or whether they forbear, okay? And I'm going to close out with that, all right? Yahweh Ratches, I was edifying, as always. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. And until next time, Shalom.